Have we done it tonight? Nothing. Uh, for the record, all board members are present. And may I have approval of the minutes November 5th, 2018, please? And the motion? I'll make so the motion. Second. The motion and the second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Minute approval carried. Bill payment of November 26, 2018, voucher number 2018-2258 through 2018-2384 with a total of $254,654.72. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Okay. have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Approved. Department heads, Paul Sigmund. Uh, it's the same old things restating them again. The parking ban is in effect now. From 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., there's no parking on the streets. I know the constable's been pretty decent about it, getting people broken in, but as you can see, it's going to start snowing, so they're going to start writing tickets. If you actually block the road and we can't get around it, they'll tow the car. Um, and it works out really great because now we have radios that we can contact the Sheriff's Department directly. We don't have to call them up. We don't have to look for a tow truck. They come out and take care of the whole thing for us. You wake up and your car's gone, I advise call Sheriff's Department because it's probably in an impound area somewhere. Paul, well, do you have direct contact with our constables also? I have their phone numbers. Okay. Um, the other thing is leaves. Got to have patience. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody says, I want my leaf pile picked up. Well, you and the 3,000 other residents all, or homeowners also want theirs done. It's been a tough season. They dropped late, and they all dropped at one time. Now they're wet. Most of the time we have to come in and clean our trucks out twice a day because they're plugging up because they're so wet. Uh, if you're really impatient, all I can tell you is bag them and put out six, at a, six bags a week. Garbage men will take them. But, I mean, we'll, we're making our way around town. It takes a couple weeks to do it. I got two trucks out every day. Matter of fact, they even came in Friday and worked for half a day. Um, chipping, while the leafers out, the chipper's not out. It was in the paper. We had an article in the paper about it. They will get back out and they will do some chipping. But, I mean, we chip from April till October. We had a little windstorm, so I do feel for the people there is some brush around that needs to be picked up. When we're done doing the leaves, we'll get around to the brush, as long as we don't get two foot of snow. Um, uh, that was about it I had, as long as you guys don't have any questions for me. Anybody answer, Paul? You answered mine about the leaves. I got a call today, so, yeah, so okay. I'll be patient. <laughs> you know, one other thing real fast, so when you guys... Anybody who hires a plow operator to do their parking lot or their driveway, make sure that they understand that when they do your driveway, the snow is supposed to stay in your yard, not across your neighbor's yard in his front yard or up in their lawn because I get calls on it every year. Um, I actually would, I would like to see sometime us to have an ordinance where if you're a commercial plow driver, you've got to get a permit in town because right now we have no, I mean, trying to track them down, sometimes it's hard to do, and we run into the same ones every year that they end up leaving piles in the middle of the road or they're pushing it off into the ditch and blocking our ditches up. I know, Paul, I know other towns do have a licensing procedure. It's not much, but as well as getting the license, there will be a list of rules and regulations in the town of Wakefield. Uh, I don't know who would, if you want to look at something like that, Paul, I'd be glad to really, uh, support that. Okay. I Maybe might be a little late for this year, but I yeah. can get it going for next year. But, you know, I mean, even if we got $10 per, per truck or something like this and they have to sign it, they understand the rules and regulations in town, it's a little bit of income and they know what the rules are. Right. Great idea. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Paul. Rich Downer, Water Department. Hi, Rich. Good evening. I don't have a whole bunch, but uh, I'd like to thank Paulie and his crew. Um, he did some patching for us from a few of our water leaks. One was on Cy Road, and the one day he was going to help us do the one on Old Shawnee Road. I was short-staffed. We had a water break out on Fair, or, uh, Town Line Road, and uh, he went over and took care of it, and the roads patched up. It not only helps me by getting the people taken care of that have been complaining about it, but this guy's got to plow the road too, and when there's a, a stone pile there, it makes it a little rough to plow, but I'd like to thank them guys for helping us out and getting the residents taken care of. Sounds good. Any questions for Rich? 
Thank you. Mike Benally, Recreation Director. Just one thing, our annual tree lighting Christmas party Saturday, 5.45 p.m. sharp. Santa will be arriving uh, via St. Johnsburg Fire Hall. Thank you, Rich, for that. This Saturday. Coming this Saturday, 5.45. Uh, we'll have crafts and games for the kids. Get to see Santa between uh, 6 and 7, and then 7 o'clock is Nickel City Reptile. And they put on a pretty good show for us. That's all I got. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bridget Crowley. Oops. Bridget, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Warren. taking her spot tonight. Well, I, I always want to get to the middle of the agenda. I don't know why it gets the two of you confused. I don't know. Because we sit next to each other. I think that's part of it. <laughs> Good evening. Um, I really don't have anything uh, for tonight other than some of the projects that the planning board has been seeing over the last couple of months. That we've got our um, engineering approvals, so they're starting the applications that are coming in. National Vacuum, got that, that's in the process. Um, part of it was received uh, before Thanksgiving. The rest of the paperwork showed up today, so I'll hope to process that through, so get that project going. Um, but other than that, uh, nothing, nothing new to report. And, you know, Mike, I think uh, I mentioned to you that we did cancel the meeting for this week, and we're going to get to that. Yeah. I just yep, I got that. Yeah. Mike, so over on the, the old Bell Aerospace that's falling in, I know we don't own the property. Do we have any leverage at all to get anything done over there? That's been in court. That's in the court's hand. Uh, uh, Mike's correct. It is in court. It's in uh, the court that I handle. Um, and we just had, I think it was last week, the attorney for the property owner. And uh, I guess the main issue is funding at this point, without getting into too many details. I and mean, there's been a lot of maneuvering to try to raise funds to take care of it. Well, it one of the issues, Randy, uh, is that uh, there is a, a, a company interested in purchasing that property. Um, and the Niagara County is looking at taking over the property, cleaning up the building, and then reselling it to this interested buyer. Um, I haven't got an update in the last few weeks. And the other uh, issue is that if the town of Wheatfield had to condemn that property, uh, and we had to clean up that property, I, I would wonder if we could afford it because of the asbestos abatement. And I, I think I mentioned years ago, just on that front building alone, just to removal of the asbestos was $27,000. It's not that I don't want it cleaned up, but I just wonder how far the town can go with it. So I'm hoping the county um, can negotiate and purchase the property and then in turn sell it to uh, the other county that's interested in developing it. Somebody to develop and pay taxes. Yeah, there's, sure. actually, there's <laughs> actually somebody that's in that area now that want to buy that parcel, but they don't want to be responsible to clean up. Right. And the county's negotiating to clean it up and then resell the property. And that's kind of where it is in our end also. Okay. Yep. Anything else, guys? Thank you. And Bridget is not here tonight. Huh? Possible, Brian.
For an additional charge, they'll walk the dog, too, if that's uh, <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, thank you. And also, uh, and, and I think you know what I'm talking about, thank you for your assistance here last week at the town hall. Greatly appreciate it. Arlene. Hey, Arlene is not present tonight. Tim Zuber is, though. Tim? Uh, thank you. We we only have one brief thing on our agenda this evening for you, and that's our planning board summary. Uh, it's covering the October 17th and the November 7th meeting. The October 17th meeting started off with a sketch plan for Shawnee Estates subdivision, but the applicant ended up canceling and not coming in, so that was not entertained. The second and final item was a special use permit request for Frontier Fire Company. The applicant requests a special use permit for the ins installation of an electronic me message display sign for the fire hall at 2181 River Road. A public hearing, which is required for a special use permit, was scheduled for 6.45 p.m. for the November 21st, 2018 meeting. No other action was taken. And the next meeting was November 7th, and actually there were no agenda items for that meeting, so the planning board meeting was canceled. So that's the summary. Any questions? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Motion. Matt Brooks. Okay, we have uh, several motions tonight. Uh, first one is, is uh, from the town clerk, and it's going to be modified slightly from what's in print. Uh, based on a discrepancy in the language, but it goes as follows the amended version. Uh, motion to authorize acceptance and execution of the necessary documents by Kathy Harrington McDonald, Wheatfield Town Clerk, to change the Wheatfield Town Clerk's tax collection software to BAS. This program will allow for residents to look up tax bills online, make direct payments with credit, debit cards, or e-checks. These payment options have been requested by many residents. The cost for this tax collection software shall be as follows. First year conversion, and this is the change from the, the print, first year conversion and 2019 maintenance agreement will cost $19,700, which includes the installation and conversion. Set amounts will be paid from the 2018 budget, and the remaining balance of $2,700 will be paid from the 2019 budget. The cost of annual maintenance starting at January 2020 is currently priced starting at $3,900 per year. This resolution authorizes the acceptance of the proposal from BAS for the tax collection software and authorizes the execution of any necessary documents subject to town attorney review. I'll make that motion. Second, and the question. Uh, so the two thousand seven hundred dollars we're paying in two thousand nineteen. The total <coughs> um, cost for the conversion and the first year maintenance is nineteen thousand seven hundred. We're going to pay seventeen thousand out of the eighteen budget and twenty seven hundred out of the nineteen budget. So they're going to be invoicing you twice separately. Separately. Yes. Okay. And then conversion is it the first year conversion. What are you converting? The two thousand eighteen maintenance. The history and um, the whole tax roll data from the year. county. So they're going back one year? Yeah, one year. Is that enough? Yeah, because we'll still have the tax roll stuff on our, our computer. Okay. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, next motion from town supervisor. Motion to schedule a public hearing on the blank day of blank 2000 and blank year to be determined regarding a local law making modifications to the Town of Wheatfield Zoning Ordinance Section 200-18.C-1 capital A and 200-18.C-1 capital C commercial district as indicated uh, and presented in the motion package. And just in, in brief, um, Last, week's, uh, last week I attended a, a couple seminars related to um, the growing trends in business and one of the things that was discussed was the um, downfall or the downtrend in malls 
and what their suggestion was to be that the towns be a little more aggressive in trying to convert these stores into something as well as the retail sales but um, some other uses and since I started we've had some people interested in uh, I, I won't give locations but various locations at the old Summit Mall and the downside was that um, it was limited to five, five employees. And um, what it is, it's the as the law writes now is written now in the C1 district, it allows for um, assembly of materials, but not to exceed five employees. Well, you know how that is. If you have more than five employees, it kills it. And the companies that did come in here. Uh, didn't want to go through the hassle of having to change the zoning law because for them it would make it very difficult. So what this does is does allow for the assembly of previously prepared materials. And as an example, we had a, a cosmetics company uh, come to us, and uh, I'm not sure if they're still interested, uh, hopefully. Uh, but what they wanted to do to avoid tariffs, they would come into this country, uh, they would package their... Um, uh, materials here in one of the stores at, at Summit Park Mall and then distribute them here. So, but they had 22 employees and the fact that we're limiting them to five employees is really hurting the town. So what this will do is allow for the assembly of previously prepared materials under special permit. And the reason for that is that if, if there's something that does come in that may be an issue, noise, odors, things like that could be addressed or stopped through the special permit process rather than just saying, okay, you can come here. Uh, we met with the mall owners this morning and Kurt's going to make that part of his report and they were happy about it because it does open up another uh, uh, facet in the uh, commercial zoning district. So we're trying to be a little bit more uh, progressive uh, and we're looking to maybe make some other changes as time goes down to try and uh, attract other uses in the area. So I hope that is that clear, I hope. But uh, that's it, pretty much. Thank you. So we would need a uh, proposed uh, date and time for that public hearing yeah. as well in the motion. We probably don't have time for the first meeting in December. Yeah. So um, can we make it, uh, I'll make a motion that we make it at uh, uh, 7 o'clock in our second meeting in December, which would be the 17th. 17th. Is that okay? I'll put that to a motion that we uh, have a public hearing at 7 o'clock. Have a second, please. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, our next motion is as follows from the town board and town attorney. Whereas the town issued a sealed bid for refuse waste collection and disposal, disposal and recyclables collection and marketing generated within its municipal borders, and whereas the Moder Modern Incorporated submitted a bid in response to the town's request, and whereas the town evaluated the bids it received in response to its request, and whereas the Town Board of Wheatfield adopted a resolution on September 2014, 2000, excuse me, September 24, 2018 to award the contract for its solids waste and recyclables to Modern Disposal Services, Inc., and whereas the town and Modern Disposal Services, Inc. wish to enter into an agreement in accordance with the terms and conditions stated in the bid and Modern's response to the sealed bid request. Now, therefore, the town of Wheatfield and Modern Disposal Services, Inc. are ready to enter an agreement bonding each party with the terms and conditions stated in the bid provided by Modern Disposal Services, Inc., in response to the town's sealed bid request, it is hereby resolved that the town of Wheatfield approves and authorizes the town supervisor, Don McSwan, to enter into and sign a municipal waste, solid waste collection, hauling, disposal, recycling agreement on behalf of the town with modern disposal services for said services for a period of 2019 to 2022, in which the town shall have the option to renew said agreement for two successive two year periods. The resolution authorizes the town supervisor to approve and execute the refuse agreement upon a final approval of the agreement's form and terms by the Wheatfield Town Attorney. Can I have a motion, please. Hello. If we do, if we do agree to uh, <coughs> extend it by two years, is there a set raise that they're going to get or an increase? 
Or is um, that going to be negotiated if we opt in? The, uh, the agreement provides, and that was in our bid specifications that went out, that uh, we wanted the opportunity to have at least two extensions, and there is the formula uh, based on the rate of inflation and the consumer price index that indexes well the change, not just for the extensions, but for every year during the term of the contract. So, and that is that is what was factored into our our, our bid request and the other company that um, bid as well. They they factored that in as well. They were just started off at a higher rate. I'll make that motion. A second on the question. Uh, on page seven of their contract, it says the town shell and it says provide modern uh, with. Um, I guess overnight storage of its collection vehicles and equipment at the highway garage. I didn't, didn't know if the highway superintendent knew about this. And uh, make the highway garage property available to modern for overnight storage of its collection vehicles and equipment. The town shall be held harmless for any injuries, accidents, or other occurrences of town highway garage property. Well, uh, that I had discussed and I had called Paul about it because that was what was came up in the contract. And I think as I've mentioned and and what I've included in the uh, in the uh, board package is is not 100% complete. Um, I think there may even be some pen marks on the copy I, I gave you. And I've been working with them, and that's why I've included the provision in this resolution. The final agreement will be subject to uh, attorney approval. So. Um, Paul's already indicated to me he has no indoor storage available. He wouldn't mind if there was some outdoor. Um, I think that provision came through from Modern because they maybe use it in other municipalities where that are actually farther away from their dump, which we're luckily pretty close. But um, in the in the versions that have occurred since I put the motion package together, we've cut most of that out, and we made a few other amendments and changes just to get rid of typos, get rid of any conflicting language. So it, it's still a work in progress. If the board approves it, the general principle of the agreement tonight, I'm going to be fine-tuning the agreement before it goes to Supervisor McSwan for signature. I'd just be worried in the winter months, you know, he's got all his fall trucks going in and out of there. I mean, there's just, there's not a whole lot of room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think... Uh, No, no, that's not the case. No, and, and I, I anticipate they really won't be doing anything, and that language may be out completely. And I won't obviously present it to the supervisor for signature without with anything in it that that Paul can't do. Okay. So that that's still a bit of a work in progress. The the real main gist of this is the agreement that we've already, um, by virtue of the bids, awarded to. Um, modern it's just we have to fine-tune the language and that's what we're working on and love to get it done before the end of the year in, in fact I think we can uh, be specific in fact that there would be no outside storage of their equipment on our property unless for an emergency purpose or something but we can do that okay have a motion and a second okay. all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. opposed motion carried uh, next motion from the budget director, be it resolved the town board does hereby approve the following 2018 budget transfers from the general fund as follows, and that is as presented in the motion package. Mm -hmm. Second. Motion to second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Another motion from the budget director to approve an amendment to the 2018 water fund budget to provide the estimated revenue and budget appropriations for the 15 cent increase in the purchase of water from Niagara County that became effective as of January 1st, 2018, but approved by Niagara County after the 2018 budget was adopted by the town board as follows. And that is as presented in, in the motion package. Motion please. So moved. Second. Second. Okay, motion and second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next motion from the Firearms Permit Review Board. To approve the firearm discharge permits for the individuals as shown on the attached list that was provided. So moved. Okay. Read their names. That is Robert uh, Raffle Jr. and Keith Raffle. 
Okay. Both, we, both we feel resonant. I made that motion. Okay. Motion in the second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next motion from the Recreation Department to uh, hire Christopher Cacciatore as a lifeguard for the lifeguard program at Niagara Wheatfield beginning in January at a rate of pay and job uh, term specifications pursuant to the job specifications for the Recreation Department subject to Human Resource Department approval on a Niagara County background check. A motion to the second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <coughs> Next motion again from the Recreation Department to authorize the Recreation Department to declare the following items as surplus equipment. A, a Cub Cadet 26-inch snowblower, model number 317E653F100. B, a John Deere 26-inch snowblower, model number 826. C, a New Holland 906 auger head attached from four different size augers and holders. D, a Curtis 9-foot nine nine hitch-and-run snow plus 30-degree angle model number 27389 and a Woods 90-inch desk rotary mower. Or deck, it's probably desk. Yeah. You know, I don't know if we can do this, but we're also trying to get rid of the old Crown Victoria. Uh, can we put that, we put that in the motion from the Costco Department? Uh, I, I guess that would be, this is from the Recreation Department, yeah, I would say that. Except I think Mike is going to list it also. So. Well, if the board wants, we can in, in include it and we can include okay, it and list it. I mean, that's, that's got to go. Want to do it in a separate motion? Yes. The old Crown Victoria that's sitting out there? Is this all going to go to auctions or the Yeah, well, I, I didn't finish. Well, the, I'll, I'll, I'll finish the rest of the motion then, just so you're clear. Um, and to allow the Recreation Department to place said surplus equipment items on Auctions International for sale, resolution requires upon receipt of any bid offers for the purchase of said surplus equipment items, the Town Board to review said bids and authorize the sale of said items. I'll make a motion we add it. Adding F, and then you want to put the Crown Victoria, the old constable, is that what that is? Yes. Yeah. Adding F with the old constable car? Yeah. Crown Vic? Yep. I'll second. Mm -hmm. a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, uh, next motion is from Wendell Engineers. Whereas the town, the Wheatfield Town Code contains and specifies local laws and ordinances of the town of Wheatfield, and it has been determined that the town code is outdated and does not properly address the issues concerning streetlights and subdivisions, and whereas the town has prepared draft language to revise Town Code Chapter 169, Subdivision of Land, and whereas in accordance with Part 617 of the implementing regulations, pertaining to Article 8, State Environmental Quality Review Act, Seeker, of the Environmental Conservation Law, the Town of Wheatfield Board has concluded an environmental review of the revised code, and whereas the town has identified there are no other permitting or approving agencies for this action, and whereas a public hearing was held regarding these code amendments today, November 26, 2018, and comments were received, and whereas pursuant to municipal home rule law, the town board is proposing to adopt this code amendment by enacting a local law, now therefore be it resolved that the Wheatfield Town Board, in accordance with the State Environmental Quality Review Act, has determined that proposed amendment of the town code chapter 169 subdivision of land will not adversely affect the natural resources of the state and or health, safety, and welfare of the public and is consistent with the social and economic considerations and therefore issues the attached Seeker Negative Declaration in accordance with Section 617.7 of the Seeker Regulations and be it further resolved that the supervisor is authorized to sign the Environmental Assessment Form, which will act as a negative declaration. A motion, please. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, next motion is a follow-up to that uh, from Wendell. Whereas the Wheatfield Town Code contains and specifies the local laws and ordinances of the Town of Wheatfield, and it has been determined that the Town Code is outdated and does not properly address issues concerning streetlights and subdivisions, 
And whereas the town has prepared draft language to revise the town code, Chapter 169, Subdivision of Land, and whereas a public hearing was held regarding these code amendments on today, November 26, 2018, and comments were received, and whereas pursuant to municipal home rule law, the town board is proposing to enact a local law as follows, be it enacted by the town board of the town of Wheatfield, New York, that the Wheatfield Town Board amends the Wheatfield Town Code as follows, Subdivision of Land, Chapter 169, Article 3, Procedures. Amend Section 169-10, Preliminary Plat for Major Subdivision, Fee, Hearing, Bond, by amending Paragraph 1 as follows. Add the following sentence after the first sentence of the paragraph. The Board shall also state the need for the formation of any special districts needed necessary for the project, such as a lighting district and also amend section 169-2 required improvements bonds fees by adding a new paragraph G as follows G lighting districts for new subdivisions subdivisions that have not received final plat approval as of the date of the filing of this amendment to the local law requiring new roads and the installation of street lighting the applicant shall support and pay for all costs associated with the town of Wheatfield forming a lighting district for the subdivision this district must be in place prior to town board approval of the final plat, whereas the town board has issued a negative declaration in accordance with the seeker requirements. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Wheatfield Town Board amends the code of the Town of Wheatfield Chapter 169 entitled Subdivision of Land to provide for the revision of the town code as referenced above. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion. Motion. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, then we have a few uh, supplemented uh, late motions that came in. The first is a motion uh, to advertise for the 2019 annual vacancies for the town of Wheatfield. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Do we have a date where we want those applications by? Um, uh, typically, it's December 15th. Um, I'm not sure what that falls this year, but it's typically postmarked by December 15th. Yeah, if we can include that in the motion, I think it would be better. Okay, we have a motion with an amendment. And did we get a motion on that? Wait a second. Mm -hmm. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And that will all they'll be available to posting online and in the post office. Thank you. And then um, we have one final supplemental motion from the town attorney and town board to accept and authorize Don McSwan to town supervisor to execute a payment in lieu of taxes pilot agreement between the town of Wheatfield and L R Wheatfield Solar One L L C uh Burigo to establish a fifteen year payment in lieu of taxes agreement starting 2020 at $20,000 annually with a 1.5% annual increase terminating in 2035 with an estimated annual payment of $25,004.64 relative to the premises at 2469 Lockport Road, Sanborn, SBL number 133.00-1-3 in the town of Wheatfield, Niagara County, a copy of which is attached here too. I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Have a second, please. Yes. I'll second. Motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And uh, that is all the motions for this evening. Board members, Larry Hellwood. Okay, I all my questions yet. Thank you. Bill Bissap. Captain Ford's finest from Burkwell Fire Hall. We'd like to add Ellen Doyle, Rachel Hamilton, Emily Harrell, Stephen Harris, Thomas Perry, Gavin Ritter, Larry Sire, Arlie Savita, and others who carry from their active fire hall. I'll make the motion. Second. And we have a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We also have from Adams Fire Hall, they'd like to have an active 
members, Robert House, Amy Orlowski, and Joseph McGuire. And I'll make that motion. Second. Do we have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <coughs> Thank you, Gus. Good back up. Yeah, a couple updates tonight. So first, regarding our volunteers, the Comprehensive Plan Task Force, we do have a new member who joined our disaster management group. Our disaster management group looks at policies and procedures that the town has in the event of an emergency. And Jim Mahalko has joined the group. Jim is a longtime Weefield resident. He is a member of Adams Fire Hall and also worked for the Department of Health, so we had some great relevant experience and we're really excited to have him interested and involved with us. Uh, second, as Don alluded to a little bit earlier, we had a meeting earlier today with uh, Doran Kokoff and some of his representatives from the summit, uh, which is a group that is working on developing the former Summit, summit Park Mall. And really our objective for the meeting was to get them in and let them know you know, that the town is interested in helping them um, as they're working on development of that property. Nobody wants to see it empty. And they were, uh, I, I would say, I think it was a very productive meeting. They were very enthusiastic. Um, I, I think there has been some delays over the past little bit that, that they've been involved, but I, I think there's plenty of resolve there, and I do expect some things to, to start to happen. And one of the things that we offered up is we have our, our volunteers. Um, we, we offered up, you know, setting up some of the uh, dedicated people to maybe ideate for them and any issues that would come up, help them to troubleshoot it. And it was something they were very open to. So that's something we're going to be focusing on here through the end of the year and in the summer. And then the last thing, um, LED. I haven't provided an update on LED lights in, in a couple of weeks, so I just wanted to quickly touch on that. It is moving forward, and we are continuing to work on that. The hardest thing is really getting everybody that's needed in the room at the same time, so there's been some scheduling issues, but it's, it's definitely moving forward, and I look to provide um, some more DVD updates in, in the near future. And that's it. Thank you, Kurt. Yep. Uh, just to add, with that meeting this morning with the mall owners, uh, they have a new representative, and I, I know you know who it is, Mike. It's Neil Turvey, uh, who will be a representative locally that will be able to contact uh, related to, and I keep saying the mall activities, the summit activities. And uh, I've known him for quite some time, and he's very knowledgeable, very energetic. And a lot of the plans that they're looking at doing over there, if this happens, and you know, one of the things that came up, you know, everybody says, oh, all I, all I hear is stories about the mall, it's never going to happen. I can assure you that the owner of the mall and the people involved are aggressively looking at making these changes. And if this does happen, uh, we'll be very fortunate in the town of Wheatfield. One of the um, uh, comments that the uh, owner of the property made was, in fact, I don't like to make announcements and promise things that aren't guaranteed. And he says, so the reason you're not hearing about a lot of these things that we discussed this morning is because, of course, funding is an issue from a Canadian developer to get money over here. Uh, but as Kurt said, uh, if these proposals do work out, uh, it'll be great for the community. A lot of good things. Randy? Uh, just tomorrow night we're having an Ag Focus Group meeting at 7. And the other thing about business, I did hear that Precious Plate is buying that one vacant building on Liberty Drive. It's going to happen right after the first of the year. It starts with an S. And they are uh, going to be purchasing that building, which is good for the town. Anything else there? That's it. Thank you. You know, one thing I noticed, too, the old uh, Green Lantern or the old Giller, am I aging myself? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I see they have a, a new owner in there. And, uh, what's the name of the restaurant? Was it? I'm sorry? Orange Street. And uh, I'm going to stop and welcome them to the town of Wheatfield, but um, uh, it's great to see another business open up. And I, understand, I see we have a new barber along the boulevard, too. Uh, I'll have to stop and welcome him to Wheatfield.
So um, also sales tax is up again. So that's that's very good news. Uh, and that's all I have tonight. Uh, if anyone has, oh, the next meeting is December 3rd at 7 o'clock. And any public input related to anything we've discussed tonight? Anyone? You're aware of that, aren't you? I spoke to Paul Gale, who was extremely in my speech, but he was ready for a meeting. And I don't think Gale realized it was a calendar one. Yeah, we've got that straight in the way, but we don't know the date yet. I don't know. Well, hopefully, next meeting we can. Is it coming up soon? If anybody does hear, let me know, would you? And then we'll, uh, we'll make it available. Okay. I'm sorry, I just thought of it. Um, it's not quite ready yet, but of course we're getting close to the county tax collection time. And M&T Bank will not be accepting payments this year. Um, they have in the past, but there's going to be a new change, and that'll be on the tax bills. We always get the tax bills at the end of December. They go out and they're due by January 31st. So the tax bills will be a little bit different. That'll be on there, but m and Bank will not be collecting any taxes going forward. No one has any, no comments. Yes? Surprised, I was surprised they paved this last section, which to me was it, it's nice that they paved it. Right. Yeah, we we sent out a letter. This goes back when I first started asking to be involved with uh, the development of that next phase, and because it is basically the kind of the gateway in Wheatfield, so to speak, to ask for. If you notice on the corner of National Boulevard where they have benches and flowers and sidewalks, I'd like to do the same thing at this stretch, too, instead of making Wheatfield just a drive through yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. I, I agree. Uh, there is a meeting in uh, December that I have with DOT, and matter of fact, I'm asking Larry to cover another meeting for me so that I can attend that one. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the money, as you know. Yeah. Again, I have a meeting, uh, I think it's the 18th, Larry, I'll have to let you know. And I, there's two meetings that day, and I can't be at both of them, so I'm going to try and make the, either the DLT meeting or the one on the Greenway. So uh, I can let you know better next meeting. Okay? Yep. Yeah, Was there, there was no performance bond placed on it?
but you know we I think if in fact we are responsible for that sidewalk um, you know rather than have somebody get tripped or hurt and that's why we, we we did the sidewalk out front here is because as soon as someone trips and gets hurt we have a liability there so if it's that bad if it's up more than a half an inch we've got to replace it or, re or repair it all. And we, we, we got to take care of it. So it's it's something. Um, if we're responsible for it, then we can't let it go because the next thing is going to be a lawsuit when somebody tripped there. So maybe you and I talk about this, but we'll have to get it taken care of. Yeah, and if that's the fact, though, that we are responsible, and you know that's one of the issues with the greenway, the responsibility after the greenway goes in and the sidewalks, etc. And that's still negotiation. Um, but I, if, if we are responsible, Matt, maybe you can check into this. Uh, if somebody trips and gets hurt, then we have a liability, especially now that it's been recognized. So I would say this to you, let's get it fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a horrible spot. Yeah, I agree. That whole intersection's a mess. And I'm hoping that they, not only the turning lanes and maybe make it a little more attractive, because it is kind of the, the center of Wheatfield, so to speak, with Ward and the Boulevard there. So I'm hoping to be involved with the meetings with DOT, and as soon as I hear something, I will let you know how's that. Okay. And Paulie, on that sidewalk, I think it's something we, we, have, to, uh, we have to address sooner than later. Well, no, but no, no, you're not going to do it. We're going to get estimates and have it done. And I know Mike, Mike is gone. We just had them do the front of the town hall here. Uh, we should get it done. Uh, we Again, there's a responsibility, a liability, and we have to do it. We can't let it go. Okay, anything else? Yet? Okay, our next meeting, I think I said that already, didn't I? Yes, I did. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you for coming.